what's up guys welcome back hey hey we got some battlefield one gameplay finally right it's been about a month since we last posted a video about battlefield one actually april 6th uh was the last time that we had a battlefield one video up on the channel but nonetheless we are here and when i say we i mean me and you the viewer the subs the peeps the dudes that I'm always trying to entertain. So, guys, a lot of things going on in the Battlefield world, but as you guys can probably tell why you clicked, pretty much, is the title in the thumbnail. And is it clickbait? No, it's not clickbait. I don't I don't do clickbait. What I want to talk about might be a little bit controversial. And it's pretty much Battlefield versus COD. And it's been done a thousand times, a million times before, and it will always be... Uh, people are always going to have their opinions on it. But I, I like to take my things at an interesting twist. I want to know what you guys think DICE has done well with this game. I want to know what you guys think DICE has done bad with this game and I bring this up in this video here because I want I want to figure out why did it take dice three months three to four months to get the ball rolling on battlefield one and why when the game first came out was it just bare bones stripped down Nothing really to the game, not really any weapons, maybe that was the time period, we're not real sure. I'm going to lean towards that, I'll, I'll give them the benefit of that. But when we start counting the things that DICE has done wrong with this game, from, again, from weapons, from time, how about time? Glitches, asking for patches taking forever to get those patches out or not even addressing issues that needed fixing such as the medic uh, revive when they would get revived you'd, you'd just be reloading your gun animation the whole time you couldn't fire it um, how about again the time for setting dates when is giant shadow coming out oh you know December um, Okay, how about uh, how about they shall not pass? When's that coming out? Oh, it's April, March. Okay, so no information. No, not at this. No, not really. Not at this time. Okay, how about the CTE? Oh, it's, it's, you know, for PC. Is it coming out on consoles? Yeah, yeah. When's that going to happen? Oh, I was, you know, we're doing stuff. Okay. Cool. Thanks, Dice. We appreciate it. I'm glad we spent 50 bucks for Premium Pass. No. <laughs> and now we, and now, all of a sudden, that Call of Duty World War II is revealed. And even weeks prior to it being revealed... Now we're starting to get all the information that DICE has had in the pipeline. Whether this is smart business, I don't think it's smart business. Me personally, I think it's terrible business. They've they've done some things right though. Call of Duty fanboys have gotten pretty pissed off about the games that they've had to deal with over the last three years. The boost jumping, the, the avoidance of boots on the ground, getting back to its roots, and all this stuff. They got it right in that we went back into World War One, and we are, we they basically introduced a whole entire new setting and environment for people and uh, generation that don't really know much about World War One, and you know it's it's something that hasn't been done yet on consoles, and it was you know it's it's kind of innovative. So they got that right. But what they've gotten wrong about this whole game is the logistics of it. And it frustrates people. 
it frustrates people who want the game to be a little more competitive people who want the game to have some kind of comp competition level it's a little too casual I mean we've we've spoke about this time and time again it feels more like Star Wars Battlefront than it does Battlefield 3 or Battlefield 4 and you know that's kind of an issue um, but I just find it interesting that all of a sudden now we're getting updates monthly and now we're getting more communication about what's coming out with uh, they're giving us months of timeline in advance we're getting dates like June 10th for um, the EA Play presentation that they're going to show Neville Knight's actual gameplay and the new map uh, I'm not even going to pronounce that but I'll, I'm going to there it is right there on the screen <laughs> my French is not very good to say the least wee wee right but I just think it's very interesting that now all of a sudden that Call of Duty World War 2 has been revealed and more people are getting hyped about it that now we're starting to get all this information that's being released from Battlefield from DICE and like I said whether that's just savvy business whether that's trying to you know relight the fire of the Battlefield community uh, making sure that the Call of Duty fanboys that came over that you know they're gonna stay with Battlefield they're not going back to Call of Duty they're trying to keep the player base there it's an interesting thing and I think it uh, is worth monitoring uh, another thing that I think they got really wrong is this goes with the logistics part of all this is the premium pass when you're making people pay for something like premium and then you get this concept this idea that you're gonna have premium friends you're gonna have friends of premium members jump in with a premium guy and be their anchor and then they can carry them all across the the uh, the playlist to experience new maps and uh, there's no time limit for this they can do it for as long as they want to what's the, what was the point of me buying premium then you know what was the point in any of us buying premium if that was the case if it's not about making money then why are you trying to make money do you know do you guys know what I'm saying why why are you introducing a concept that doesn't require anyone to buy something when they can just latch on to people who already did buy it? The majority of the people in the player segment in, in the Fracture are not going to have Battlefield Premium. That's why it's premium. Only a top few percent are going to actually spend the $50, $60 to get the premium pass. So, the limited amount of content, it's almost not worth it to get premium, is all I'm trying to say. I don't, I just, I think that they did a lot of things wrong with this game. Um, I'm hoping that it's not quantity versus quality at this point, when they just start pumping all this content out just to try to satisfy the, the community so they don't go anywhere. That's what it feels like to me. It feels like a desperation move. Unless, unless, the plan for Battlefield 1 is to be slow and steady to win the race. And possibly that's what it might end up being. Um, whether this game is, whether they don't come out with another Battlefield game until next year, 2018, We'll have to see, and if that's the route they take, then maybe I can give them a little bit of slack. But as for right now, if they're coming out with a new Battlefield game next year, um, you know, doesn't seem worth it, really. So, guys, I spoke a little bit about platoons. I ended up making my own on Xbox One. If you guys have Xbox One, be sure to add me here. It's called Gold Squad. We'll have a little contest here to see what sub or anybody who else that stops by can give a, um, a name. If you've got Xbox, you know, we'll we'll have to play together. But guys, let me know what your thoughts is on this uh, topic, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. So, peace.